breaking news on the sexist. Today we bring you a special news report on the life and death of Edna. I'm Dick Clark. I'm Bob Schaefer. And this is your evening news. In breaking news, a woman named Edna has cheated on her husband. Cheated. Uh, adultery. I can't even imagine. Uh, what does it say? How many women? How, how many men did she cheat on him with? Let me grab my glass. I can't read. That's hard to see. There were two men. Two men. And one woman. A woman? She cheated on a woman. With a woman. With a woman. On a man. Yes. That is three accounts of cheating by this woman. I can't even imagine. What is her husband going to think? I was going to say. Oh, no. It seems she has killed herself as well. She has killed her. Suicide in the ocean. Probably the best choice for her. And I bet relieved some stress off her husband. Well, her husband. He's probably joyful with the news. I I would be. Also, um, she committed... Suicide. <laughs> Yes. So she also performed adultery. Adultery, yes. Yes. With a girl, a woman, a woman. in a tent. In a t oh wow. Yes. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Holding hands intimately. Oh. Laying his head. Oh, do we need to demonstrate for the camera? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Intimately. Intimately. Intimate right there. Alright. Yep. Holding hands. Holding hands. Holding hands. Holding hands. Interlocking Inter fingers. Oh, of course. Alright. And talking intimately. Talking about... I'm not good at talking intimately. I'm not. Should we share our feelings? I believe they got the, okay. the gist though. I bet they could write a whole book on her feelings. I don't know what that would be like though. I don't know. I don't know. But, her death and her life have been an inspiration to other women. I can imagine it being though. Yes, she was very, very unhappy with the way women were treated in her day and age. Mm. Mm -hmm. And she was. She felt restricted by society. Good for her. She tried she, to get out. She got out. And right out. Got out with a woman. Into the water. Just right out into it. And she died. It's she her fault, though. It killed herself. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. All right. That's, that's the uh, headline news for today. That's the headline news. In honor of the late Edna, we are giving you the weather from her birthplace here in Kentucky. The weather. Thanks. As you can see, we are in the heart of Kentucky, and the weather is wonderful. Magnificent, even. The skies above are quite clear, which can help one clarify his or her mind about any doubts of self-reliance, self-independence, self-existence, what one thought they had for lunch, what one actually had for lunch, just all of those things. The sunlight, it's beautiful. It's self-assuring. It helps you discover who you are inside, and that's really good. While in the night, we have the motivational moonlight to help motivate you through all those dark times you might be going through. The trees, they're all such nice heights. And not just the big ones, the little ones too. Yeah, they're really nice. And you know, it's really great weather for sundresses and swinging and swimming and drowning. You know, just all of those things. All right, back to you. On this hot Louisiana morning, Woo! we are bringing to you an exclusive interview with Robert a close friend of the late Edna. Mm. Yes, friend indeed. Here's the interview now. Good afternoon. I'm Mike Wallace, and today I'm interviewing Robert. Good to have you here. I'm glad to be here. Today I have a few questions for you. <coughs> I will be glad to answer them. Good. Um, first question. How did you enjoy your adventure to uh, Mexico? Uh, Mexico was a great city. Like, you know I believe that's a country. Country. Country, right? Yeah. Anyways, there are some beautiful ladies there. The country is real nice. The beaches, the beaches are fantastic. Yeah. yeah. But uh, the economic opportunity there yeah. wasn't as quite as good as I It thought. is rough down there. Yeah. But I did get a nice tobacco pouch from a lady down there. Those ladies are something else. Yeah, Edna was quite jealous of it. 
Really? That's good. Jealous lady is what I what I look for. If that's what you want, yeah. It's true. Okay, so uh Allez-vous en next Allez-vous en Sapristi. I'm I'm sorry. My bird enjoys saying, go away, go away for heaven's sake. Uh, you know, we had the same type of parrot on Grand Isle. Allez-vous Was he this bad? Uh, he actually said the exact same thing. Did so he? That must, that must be a universal coincidence. Parrot. Must be. Must be. I, that's, my bird is so unruly. I understand. But it is such a pretty, pretty bird. Yeah, pretty bird. Pretty pippin. Uh, is it the same pippin? It's, it's not pippin. It knows its name. Croissant. It is. That's good. That's good, croissant. I who's in. I'm telling you, go away, go away for heaven's sake. I don't, I, I don't want to go. He doesn't like you, I guess. That's it. But, you know. Most parents don't. Croissant. 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 Back to the question. Back to the question. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, so, Edna. Edna. You know Edna. I do know Edna. Yeah. She, uh, she Ooh. committed suicide. I heard about that. Yeah. She, uh, she drowned herself in the ocean. She did. Uh, my brother was actually the last one she talked to. Really? And his, his name was? Victor. Victor. Yeah. And, uh, losing her is deep loss. I, mean, I can imagine. It deeply wounded my soul. How, how exactly did she commit suicide? Do you know? She drowned herself in the ocean. In the ocean. Yeah. She just walked out there, not knowing how to swim. She did learn how to swim, actually. She did? She did how to swim. She swam out as far as she could, and then she couldn't swim anymore because okay. she got tired. She did get tired. I taught her how to swim. You did? I helped her teach her how to swim. Well, that's good. Well, maybe if she would have watched our segment later. I'm, I'm, I mean, it's too bad that I helped her commit suicide. Shame, but not your fault, ultimately. Also, I've heard that you're a bit of a ladies' man. Uh, uh yeah, yeah. You are a ladies' man. Uh, every year. In Mexico, you get picking up ladies. Uh, those ladies in Mexico, they are. Uh, I'm telling you. Um, and then, uh, I, every year at Grand Isle, I like to pick up a new lady. Every year, I choose a different one to hang out with. I like to meet with Ladies' people. man! Me too. I enjoy picking. I'm 93. My quality. I'm 93. But I still like the ladies. I mean, the ladies are nice. Who they are? You want to go with me? We can go pick up some ladies. Can we? Go to Mexico. Wow. Are they into 93 year olds? Uh, they're into everyone. Are they? That's good to know. Might head down there later tonight. It's, uh, it's a short trip. Good. I'm excited. Pick up a lady tonight. Be my wingman. Ooh, I'll be your wingman. Wing. I'm excited. Yes, wing, wingman. Wait. On a tangent of the person who committed suicide, Edna, I heard a rumor that she's into guys and ninja girls. She runs around. Bisexual, yes. She, she is. Is that confirmed? Uh, Obviously you can't check with her now, but she Mad should. There was this lady. Her name is uh, Mademoiselle... Uh... What, what's that? Ravioli. Ravioli. Um, something to do with pasta. I, I don't know. Do you like pasta? I do like pasta. What's your favorite kind? I like ravioli. Yeah, rigatoni. Any, any type. Alfredo. 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 Fettuccine. That's the stuff. Wow. I do. Anyway, so. Yeah. We'll just call her Mademoiselle Pasta. That's good. I do like pasta. Alright, so Mademoiselle Pasta. Yeah. She, she told me to step off. Step off. Of Ed. <coughs> Literally. Hmm. Step on. Literally step on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He was on her. Okay. Anyway, so I'll dismiss that. Back, you're in the back to her. Yeah. She. Yeah. She, there was a tent. There was a. Was it a big tent? Small tent? Small tent. Small tent. Small tent. Okay. Two ladies in there. Two ladies. One. Edna. Edna. Two. Mademoiselle Pasta. The pasta lady. Pasta lady. Anyway, yeah. in the tent. Together. Ooh. Holding hands. Holding hands. Intimately. Intimately. And laying their heads on each other. Intimately. Thank you for the visual. Yourself. Huh? Yourself. Just like that. Yeah. Intimately. They were talking intimately, holding hands intimately, and having their heads together intimately. It was all intimate. Also, they're in a, in a tent. In a tent together. Huh? Tent. Wow. Small tent. Well, that would confirm any suspicions that 
she's into girls. Yeah. And apparently you've been on her. Yeah. Which may say that she's into guys. Yeah. Therefore, she is bisexual. Yeah. Which... Although some may argue that. Uh oh. Some may argue that. But she's which, definitely bisexual. Well, honestly, that's, that's all the questions I have for you today, Robert. Um... Good talking to you. Good talking to you. And, uh, Croissant, do you have any uh, final words? Well, back to you. Thank you. And these are your sports. During her childhood, Edna enjoyed horseback riding during her free time. Edna also enjoyed rock climbing. Edna also enjoyed biking. This is a classic variation of the hat toss game invented in Mississippi. The uh, French have given it a new twist here in Louisiana, incorporating drumsticks and sun hats. We're not quite sure why this variation was made, <laughs> but it seems to make it quite, quite difficult. Oh, what a catch there. Witnesses have reported a lady in black seen walking around the Grand Isle area. People who live in this vicinity should be on high alert, watch their children at all times, and if anyone sees a suspicious woman in black walking around their house, they should call the police immediately. Tonight, there will be a concert by the lovely pianist, Mademoiselle Rios. Yes. It will be at the pavilion at 7.30. 7.30 in the evening. That it is, yes. She will be presenting the song, Memory. I do not remember that one. I don't know. That's funny. Thank you. Are you, uh, are you interested in going? If you're interested in taking me. Of course I am. Well, it's a romantic rendezvous. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Is it? It's a deal? It's a, we're good. It's a date among friends. Well, put that pipe in your mouth oh. and shake my hand. Thank you, sir. Be there. Be Alright, there has been a series of drownings within the Louisiana area, area, and in order to prevent further drownings, we're giving you a how-to segment on how not to drown, or how to swim, as it's called. Step 1. Remove shirt. Step 2. Add water. Step 3. Assume swimming position. Step 4. Move arms in circular motion. Step 5. While moving arms in circular motion, kick feet. Step 6. Don't drown. Well done. He is past his swimming school. Now back to you. This concludes the evening newscast dedicated to the late Edna. I'm Bob Schieffer, and I'm still Dick Clark. You have a good night. Thanks. Hey. A breaking interview with Leonce, Edna's wife, Edna's husband. I wish I could say thanks to Pasta though. She got a girl named Pasta. Pasta. She committed suicide. <laughs> yes. And not just the big ones, the little ones too. Nice. <laughs> This is a New Year's. This is an early bird special. Oh, where are we? Where in the world are 